Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to another video. I've been out for a few days thanks to a sickness. I don't know what's going on, but whatever it was, it's made my voice weird. I'm on the, like, recovery now. I don't know what that was. But anyway, let's get stuck right into things. Last episode, we got ourselves 80 Slayer. That was great and everything, but we need to get ourselves 85 to kill Abyssal Demons. Uh, the way we're going to do this is not by training the skill to 85. There is uh, two boosts in the game that will allow me to boost my Slayer 5 levels. Those two boosts include the spicy stews from Evil Dave, as well as the wild pie that can be either cooked or obtained through Puro Puro. I kind of forget what implings do what. I think it's Eclectic that give you the wild pies. It may be nature. It's definitely one of those two. Check if you're interested. But uh, what we're going to do here is take myself with a plus five boost thanks to a stew initially uh, to get to the Abyssal Demons. I did end up losing quite a few boosts, however. So the reaction you will see when I get my first Abyssal Whip, it is going to happen. However, I've been killing these things for a long time. And I don't know. I, I kind of wanted to like remove the commentary. It's kind of embarrassing. But whatever. I was excited when I got it. Hopefully you guys are excited to see me get it. Uh, but this was live, of course. I streamed this in front of like a few hundred people. It was pretty cool. If you're there, let me know. But anyway, let's take it away. 94 strength will start us off strong. 85 hit points will follow. And then we'll go on from there. An HP level. We've just hit 85 hit points. We're still at level 97 combat. But I, and, uh, so many levels are, get, are getting gained here. And I still haven't got a damn whip. This is really quite frustrating. <laughs> We're at kill maybe 420-ish right now. But I need to log out, otherwise I'm going to lose my boost. But yeah, 85 hit points. I might have to try it one time. Oh, no fucking way. There it is. Abyssal fucking weird. I'm not letting that stay on the ground for long at all. There it is. Fuck yes. Oh my god. What is that? 450, 460 kills and we finally get it. I don't know if that's the first in the game, but that is... My first Abyssal Whip on an Iron Man account. My first Abyssal Whip on any account. Oh, that is insane. I don't think anything can top this. Abyssal Whip, finally. All right, I'm going to try for one more. Let's check it out. I need. I lost my boost. What a fucking idiot. I don't even care. I'm done. Let's go bank. All right, so after that momentous clip in history... I'm going to check my old school time played on this account so far. So if you are going for a whip on your Iron Man account, this is how long it is like actually taking me to get here. I think it's going to take me a little bit longer to find hands because he runs around like a moron all day. There he is. How old are my hands? 20 days, 12 hours and 48 minutes. The time it took to get myself an Abyssal whip. So there it is. And whilst I'm here, I might as well give you guys a bank update of where everything's at. You know, the clips can kind of, you can lose track of what's going on with the account. So I'll give you guys a full bank kind of tour. It's not going to be insanely uh, in depth, but this is what I'm going to go for right now. I'm still on a massive high after that whip, but let's take a look. Now, I'm not going to go exclusively into everything, every little category, but for the most part, I want to try and pump it out. That is my main like kind of rune stack and everything. I've got about one and a half mil in my kingdom at the moment, so that's a little bit off. If I do it with a higher king, I can replenish that quite easy. My clue scroll tab, I might as well bring out that pink Ellie shirt. Why not? Perfect. But back into the bank. This little tab is just a little novelty tab. It's really quite pointless. This is my questing items. I'm really, I'm terrible with those. I'm going to be holding on to a lot of those items for quite some time. Uh, the, the skilling tab is at it. Is uh, that's where it's at currently. The herb law slash farming tab um, is just around the corner, but that is my current herb supplies. Coming on quite nicely. Um, this is the remainder from Puro Puro. Um, I use my Puro Puro skills and abilities to get eclectic implings to get wild pies. That is how I boosted my way to 85 Slayer. And from there, the farming tab. I should really empty these nests, but the final one is the Slayer one. Probably what you're interested in the most. I'll put everything back in here. And this is currently what I'm at. So after 80 Slayer, 29 Medhelms, 16 Full Helms. You got to keep in mind though, I've done a lot of High king of these things. So these figures are going to be a bit off. I needed to fund my kingdom and there's no way I was going to fund the kingdom um, if I wasn't Elking loot. So yeah, it might be a little bit off, but just incorporate the cash pile because most of my um, money has been from that. So yeah, Leaf Bladed Sword, Abyssal Whip. I'm fucking stoked. That is brilliant.
So to add to kind of the intensity of that whole situation, there was two Iron Men at the time that were going for whip. Myself and the rank two Slayer, who was on about 200 kills lower than what I was. He'd caught up a hell of a lot throughout the, the last few hours. And as you can imagine, uh, with only a 200 kill head start, it was definitely possible for him to get one before me. I managed to luckily pull out the RNG and pull it off, but I didn't manage to pick up that Guffins, however. Uh, but yeah, I was super stoked to get the whip. You can imagine after training with the Dragon Skimitar and swapping over, going from 10 to 15 hours of Slayer to get a strength level to, you know, half an hour, an hour to get an attack or defense level. So with that said, 70 defense is done, 70 odd attack is also complete. And getting those two stats and a bunch of combat levels is going to be a walk in the park, to be honest. And I get trolled quite a lot because I can't pick up items. But what I can pick up is my first pair of rune boots from you know, the good old Necrils. So today has been pretty great. I've got my Abyssal Whip, did a bit of a bank video, and now we've got rune boots. So I've done this all in one session. And the way I really want to, you know, cap this off completely is by unlocking the rune crossbow. The Armadal crossbow isn't in the game yet as God Wars hasn't been released. I'm kidding. In the up and coming episodes, it'll be pretty much clear why there is such a gap and the gap will be shrunk quite significantly in those set episodes. So one Slayer task later, I got myself around seven Rune 4 helmets. That was an extended task of 232. But now it is time to go and get myself that Rune crossbow. So this is one thing I don't think I've explained quite too well. Uh, what I'm doing now, I've got 65 fletching. I'm not too sure how much I documented that, but the goal is um, as follows. So basically from my kingdom, I've been able to cut a bunch of uh, maple longbows. If I collect some more from the kingdom, I'll be able to get enough to 69. But what I'm doing for now is stringing all of these, like so. And once that is all done, I'm going to take this to the agility course at Sears, and then high elk everything from there. So that's going to be a bunch of magic experience, as well as fletching and a bit of GP income, which is going to be great. Um, but why I'm getting 69 fletching is because during one of my Slayer tasks on the way to 80 Slayer, we actually got one of these we can actually find in the bank. It might be in this tab here, I guess. We're just kind of have to resort to the old <laughs> search tab. But yes, I got some Runite limbs. So the goal is to get uh, a U stock via a U log. Uh, once we craft that, we can combine the two with a crossbow string. Those three components are going to get me my first rune crossbow on this account. I did try the crazy archaeologist in the wilderness. Um, it was kind of intense though because I was doing it in front of uh, a stream and that made it intimidating because at any point um, a white dot could have appeared. So I don't like doing that and I always take the approach where if something is consistent, it's just like reliable as opposed to a luck based thing. I'd much rather do that. So now that I have the runite limbs, I think I'm going to go ahead and uh, get the levels required to make this crossbow. Uh, from there, I'll be getting my range to 70, and then I can, yeah, any task that I need to do, I can pretty much just do with void, broad, bolts, and a crossbow. And that's gonna be the probably the, the greatest thing to achieve in terms of range for a very long time. So hopefully I can get there, but I might have to pay a visit to the, the uh, kingdom along the way, but wish me luck. I gotta stop asking that. So I just run out of logs and, uh, I thought this might happen. We're quite close. As you can see, we're at 68. But I'm actually... Oh my god. That was a perfect time for that to close on me. But yeah, I'm not too far away from 69, which is the level I need. I think I will get to 70 as well. But I thought I'd bring you guys along for a collection of the kingdom. It hasn't been too long, but I, I'm just hoping I can get to not enough logs to get to either 70 or... 69 is obviously, obviously the bare minimum of what I kind of require right now. But... Let's have a look what we've got. I did clear some bank space quite some time ago, and I shouldn't have an issue with collecting this. So, a god egg, you serious? But yeah, 5k logs, that is great. 31 seeds is going to be nice for farming, and the herbs are always good. So, that's not too bad. It's a few days in. I should actually check how much money is in the coffer. Um, if you guys saw the bank earlier, if we add 1.3 mil to that, that's my current cash. So, around 2 mil cash if I get a few high ox in. So that's not too bad. I'm gonna get stuck in a fletching again. So this should be nice. This is it. I'm pretty much it's in set in stone what's about to happen. 69 fletching has been achieved. And I didn't actually think this would be an achievement that uh, I'd want. <laughs> but I think I, I'm i actually gonna get a lot of utility out of a rune crossbow. So I can now make rune slash unit crossbows. Do I just call it a unit? From this point, I need to grab a U-log. 
from there. Like, I've literally never done this on any account, let alone this Iron Man. So, yeah, it's weird how many things that I've never done before I'm doing on this account. So, this game, for the most part, for Iron Man mode, is like... In a lot of ways, it's a completely new game. A lot of ways, it's not, obviously. But it's it's interesting, all the different things that I've done on this account that I never thought I'd ever have to get done on at any point. So from here, I think I need to just turn this flax into a bowstring of the crossbow variety. Got, got a nice little lad just asking for money there, which is quite nice. Anyway, let's go ahead and make ourselves a crossbow string. That's something I've never... Oh, I don't even know. What is this even? Tree roots? What even what? I don't even know how to do this. I guess it's not even out of flax. That's a, that's a shame. So tree roots, I think I can get from harvesting a, a tree that I've planted. So what I could do, I'm not too sure if a fruit tree will work, but I'm going to go to, I think I planted one in Varrock. If I can get one there, that should be fine. So yeah, I've got an oak tree here. I can probably chop this down if I can get tree roots from here. Hopefully, yeah, we got some oak roots. That should be good. Um, I'm going to go back to Camelot. The reason why I need to go back there is because um, now that I've got the crossbow, my goal is to now do some agility. I want to get at least 65 because that unlocks the Tavoli thing to get into the Blue Dragons. Um, I know the requirement is 70, but I have like 15 summer pies left over from dragon impling hunting. So every time I have a slayer task in there, you know, I've pretty much got a boost, like maybe 60 boost plus. I think I have enough to get me through there. Um, to get me out of trouble at least for quite a while. So hopefully this can be done with this. It looks like it can. So yeah, I've never made a crossbow string in my life before. I've never made a crossbow stock on purpose before. And I guess the process now is to combine the three together. Of course, missing the hammer. Let's do this. Okay, awesome. So we now have a rune crossbow on strong. Attach a bowstring. And we now have a rune crossbow. So that is sweet. And abyssal whip is obviously nicer, but... For a ranged weapon, the rune crossbow is perfect. So, yeah, I'm super happy with that. That is the rune crossbow done. I've made a lot of progress today. I've got my abyssal whip. I've got my rune crossbow and my rune boots. So, it's just been a good day for achieving myself. But I think this is probably going to be the last recording for the day, at least, that I'm recording this on. So, we'll leave it at there. Rune crossbow is nice. Abyssal whip is better. The rune boots are just a cherry on top of all of that. <laughs>